Today on Weekly Wire, hear about a veteran maintaining a garden for her community. Find out who won Business of the Year in Newport. Plus, see how Woodbury is celebrating exiting city council members. Hello, I'm Elena Myers. And I'm Justin Atkinson. Well, RH Stafford Library will be hosting a New Year's Eve party for those that are too little to stay up until midnight. There will be singing, dancing, stories, a craft, and a countdown to noon. No registration is required. Woodbury is asking residents to check their mailboxes and make any repairs necessary to ensure that it can withstand the winter plowing season. If your mailbox is struck by a plow, the city will repair or replace it, provided it conform to the standard U.S. Postal specifications for height and setback. For more information, visit the city's website. Newport Mayor Dan Lund presented Tom Bartle with the Mayor's Award and Business of the Year Award at the city's volunteer dinner. Tom is the owner of John Bartle Hardware and will be closing his store after being in Newport for 65 years. This was the first ever Mayor's Award and Business of the Year Award given. On December 19th, Woodbury held a public service appreciation event for exiting city council members Mary Giuliani Stevens, Christopher Burns, and Julie O's. Let's take a look. We're here to celebrate the dedication, leadership, and passion of three of Woodbury's finest. Our outgoing mayor, Mary Giuliani Stevens, council members Julie O's, and Christopher Burns. Please join me in giving them a round of applause. Your attendance here is a tribute to everything that Mary, Christopher, and my mother have done for this city. I'm proud to call you my mom and to stand here tonight and congratulate you on so much success. So I want to say thank you, Christopher, for all that you've done to help the city of Woodbury grow into the great city that it is. The kids and I couldn't be more proud of your commitment. If you look up the words honesty and integrity in the dictionary, it should say Mary Giuliani Stevens. She always does the right thing, even when no one is looking. And we have worked together for the good of the entire community. Thank you for being bold, innovative, and not afraid to fail. And for being just so darn much fun to be with. For being my listening ear, a wise counselor, and most important, a true friend. This tonight was all about consistency, community, and leadership. What happens matters. Let's not forget about that in two years and four years and the next time around. We just would like to thank the three of them for their service to Woodbury, as well as getting the chance to work with them. It's been really nice. That's right. We want to wish them the best of luck in all their future endeavors. Well, husband and wife Mike Woloski and Susan Lindu were awarded the 2018 Volunteers of the Year in Newport. They made Newport's outdoor public spaces their priority by performing tree surveys and fighting invasive buckthorn and garlic mustard. Susan also volunteers with the group Newport on the Move, who placed little free libraries around the city, built flood markers, and maintains the community garden. Susan and Mike also volunteer each week at the Friends in Need food shelf. Barnes & Noble has started construction of their new concept store in Woodbury. The store is being built in City Place next to the Sierra Trading Post and will include a cafe. The store is set to open in May 2019. Many Codge Grove residents have probably seen the beautiful flower garden along Hinton Avenue that crops up in the spring. And the woman who plants that garden with her family every year has an even longer history of serving her community as well as her country. Meet Pauline Bolt. America goes to war. Men of the Army, Navy, and Marines reinforce the battlefronts on six continents to save the homes and ideals of free men from Axis domination. Well, we had the radio at home, and all I could hear, we need you to serve our country. So I thought, well, that I'm going to serve my country. When I enlisted in the Navy, I was 19 but I had to have my parents' commission. And that was a hard job because my parents didn't want me to go to the war. But I worked on my parents. So then my dad had to sign for me to go enlist. In 
And after that, she went to Washington, D.C., where she worked in medical records. And then she had been asked if she would like to go to Hawaii. Appalling scenes of destruction made on that terrifying Sunday morning when planes rained death on Honolulu show in stark realism how the Nippon Air Force, without warning, struck at peaceful Hawaii, bringing death in terrible form to citizen and servicemen alike. The attack on Pearl Harbor was very frightening to me, and I thought if I could do something to help, I wanted to join and help in some way. She was assigned to refueling aircraft and helping the planes be parked after they were fueled, and she would also signal them out on their away runs. This is all part of the stories that she told me when I was growing up of a woman who was young, getting out in the world, and putting herself in harm's way so that she could help our country. The girls uh, made me angel. I think my mom's girlfriends call her angel because she's such a giving person. Yes, I was a guardian angel, but nobody else knew I was an angel. <laughs> General Eisenhower informs me that the forces of Germany have surrendered to the United Nations. The flags of freedom fly all over Europe. I came home after the war was over. I was so happy that the war was all over. I really like it at Cottage Grove. People are all so friendly. Holy cow, you guys are efficient. I'd go out to walks here in Cottage Grove. There was an area that had so many weeds, so I would pull the weeds and, and plant some flowers. So 25 years later, her little spot has grown into half of a football field length of flowers that she nurtures every year. I think her service connection and her community connection are intertwined. It's just that giving that veterans know and accept and pass on to others that is a natural. She puts a lot of time and money into her gardening. I met a lot of friends at the garden. In fact, they know who I am because I had a friend that made a couple of signs with my name on it, and they always thank me. Oh my gosh, my mom means the world to me. She is just our joy. We love her. Love you, Mom. She's just a wonderful example of what people mean to this country who serve. I'm Pauline Bolt, and this is my cottage grove. So what did you think of all that help you got? Yeah, that was nice. I did take we had the opportunity to meet Pauline and get to hear her story firsthand. That's right, we want to thank her for her amazing service to our country. St. Paul Park wants to remind dog owners to renew their dog license by December 31st. The cost to renew is $10 per animal and you will need to provide a copy of their current rabies vaccination. You can renew in person at City Hall, by mail, or by drop-off. For more information, visit the city's website. With the holidays coming to an end, residents in Newport may discard their Christmas trees at the Public Works site. 
Between the hours of 7 a.m. and 3.30 p.m., residents can drop off trees at 1100 Bailey Road. The city asks that trees are clear of lights, garland, and decorations prior to drop off. Now here's a quick look at some upcoming events happening around South Washington County you might want to check out. at the end of 2018 already and we just want to thank all of our loyal viewers for watching us this year it's been fantastic absolutely we're excited to bring you some new stories in the new year thanks for watching